Stay tuned everybody and I'll show you how this gun came to be in existence. This is a Mossberg 500 pump action 20 gauge and what I'm going to do is make it a turkey gun. Got a lot of, well I got a few little toys that I'm going to swap out and add to it so that I have a lighter gun that will reach out and touch a gobbler as far as I can make it reach out and touch a gobbler. So let me show you what I have and what I'm going to do to this. So the plan is from front to back. I'm going to make these adjustments and these changes to the gun. So the wood stock is going to go away and it's going to get an adjustable pistol grip rear stock. It's going to get an ARO red dot scope or sight, sorry. Part of the stock is a plastic forearm to match with the stock. And at the dangerous end is a Carlson .555 turkey choke. So that is going to get swapped out. Before that happens though, it's going to get a paint job. All right. With the gun disassembled this far, these five parts are going to get painted. And what I'm going to do is give it a tree bark paint job. So what that's going to involve is giving it a base coat of tan and then using black, gray, and green and a sponge or a foam brush. I'm going to dab on those colors in layers and top it off with a matte clear coat to help keep the fresh new paint job intact. So the next step is going to be clean parts, get them prepped and ready to paint, and whatever I don't want painted is going to get taped. So the parts have been cleaned and scrubbed, soap and water with the plastics, and then rubbing alcohol, and the barrel and the frame just rubbing alcohol they've gotten twice they've gone through twice with the rubbing alcohol and par tape around it all right it's time to paint so let's get at it so here is what i used in the in the project of course the tape for covering parts that you don't want painted rubbing alcohol for cleaning up, but also use soap and water on some of the plastics, rags for rubbing alcohol, the foam brushes for putting on the paint, which you saw or will see, these four colors of paint, and then the Rust-Oleum clear coat at the end, and of course the rubber gloves. The paint of choice to start with is a base coat of this non-reflective finish, flat tan. So let's get that coat on.
parts have been painted. It's all tan. So I'm going to start with the tree bark pattern and first is going to be brown. It is now time to apply the green.
So my foam brush didn't do a very good job in the grooves on the forearm, so I have a little brush and I'm going to go through and do all the green, connect all the green lines, and then go through and connect all the black and connect all the brown and see how that looks. It should take care of a lot of this tan, these tan grooves, and help that and make that look better. So it's finished, beginning to end.
four different colors of paint. A red dot. And a new turkey choke tube. Along with a new forearm and a new collapsible stock. This gun really turned out really good. And I'm satisfied. I, I'm better than satisfied. I am pleased with it. So I hope you enjoyed watching. I sure did. Here's a close up of the the camo pattern. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this gun I believe over the years. So thanks for watching. Okay it's time to play a little game called Where's Waldo's Gun? And we're gonna try it three times. This first time, it's going to be the easiest. Out in front of you, on that downed log, there are three vertical, well, two, two vertical sticks and one vertical gun. Which one is the gun? Where is Waldo's gun? If you want to play, pause right now. Try and pick out the gun and then push play when you're ready for the answer or if you give up and can't find Waldo's gun. So hit pause now. So Waldo's gun is the middle stick. Let me zoom in and show you Waldo's gun. There it is, right in the middle. That's Waldo's gun. Okay, let's try it a second time. Okay, round two. Where's Waldo's gun? This one's a little harder. Same as before. Hit pause, try to find Waldo's gun, and when you're ready for the answer, hit play again. Okay, Waldo's gun is almost directly in the middle of the screen. See Waldo's gun? Okay, last time. All right, last time for Where's Waldo's Gun? What do you think? Can you find Waldo's gun? Push pause, and when you're ready for the answer, hit play. Okay. There's Waldo's gun. Right in the middle. Well, I hope you enjoyed playing. Where's Waldo's gun?